put it, put it I'll show you. We're gonna make popcorn. <laughs> it tastes very much like unripened tomato. tomato. Can't you read my mind? Yeah, right. <laughs> It's mayonnaise with goat cheese mixed in it. Mm -hmm. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, hi everybody, it's the Papa's Kitchen, and what I'm doing for you today is a little bonus video for the month of September. It's sort of like the end of summer, and the, uh, all of the harvest is coming in and everything. I know in Lincoln, uh, Nebraska, where I was for 25 years or more, you can go and you can actually uh, every day go to the little uh, stand that the folk, number of folks do right at the gas station or on a corner and pick up sweet corn like crazy. And so I wanted to do a little couple of side dishes for you. One of them uh, here, the first one is going to be a corn fritter. It is just great. It's something to do with the corn that you get uh, on the cob. And so I've got about three or four piece, uh, um, cr uh, Ears, ears of corn, ears. cobs of corn, yeah, <laughs> sorry. And uh, I just scrape them off like this or cut them off and uh, clean them up, cut them off. And what we're going to do is we're going to, and I've got my oil boiling, ooh, it's in fact ooh, going a little it. faster Pop than what it. I thought here. So I'm gonna take that and turn it off for a second because I'm not quite ready for that. The recipe I put up, it'll be for about 12 fritters. I'm only doing half of that because it's just Susan and I eating tonight. I'm going to make a couple of hamburgers. We're going to have this as a side. What you're going to want is about uh, three cups of uh, corn like this. I've got about a one and a half cups, maybe one and three quarters cup. And what I've done is basically you're going to see on the recipe, it's going to be a, a, a cup of flour. Uh, all purpose is great. And then in here I've got one I, I would have this, I'm cutting in half. I gotta be just careful what I'm saying because I'm gonna mess me up if I'm not careful. <laughs> You've done that before. I've done that before. I want one tablespoon of sugar. I want one and a half teaspoons of baking uh, powder. I want uh, one teaspoon of sea salt, not kosher in this case, a little bit more potent sea salt. Oh, I want one tablespoon of uh, of uh, cornstarch that's packed down, one tablespoon of that. And then uh, I put all that in, and what I'm going to do, oh, let me get this sort of put together. And that's all in that, that cup? That was all in that cup, yeah. Okay. So I, I just want to mix that together and get that all stirred around like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also put in about a half a cup of whole milk, and I'm going to put in two eggs. Now, like I said, for the sake of what I'm doing, uh, in a half a recipe. I'm only doing one. You're gonna see me just do one, but I want to beat that egg in there and then Was that a quarter cup of milk you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. It Looked was more than half. that. I know, there. but it wasn't. No, maybe a little bit more, but it won't yes, hurt. I know. Yeah. And then I'm just going to combine these two together mm. Like this and we'll just get this all mixed around. It's just like a batter. It really is. Mm. You're just making a simple batter and then once the once that's complete and it's like a thick pancake batter almost if you can imagine and once that's complete almost there you're going to just fold in the corn and i'll just show you here i'll put this like this and i'm going to take my little scooper thing here and we're going to fold this in and by the way it, this is so fun you can, all you're gonna do is fry it up here. And I've got in my skillet over here about um, a third of a cup of, of oil. You would probably do two thirds of a cup of uh, a neutral oil. I just use vegetable oil. And let me fold this in. And you just want everything covered. And actually, if I remember to do this, I'm gonna get about four of these done, Sue. And then the last couple of them I'm going to put some jalapeno. I've got some diced jalapeno oh, out of the fridge. You. And you can put that in. But, I mean, you could put yeah. onion in, chopped up. You can do all sorts of things. But basically, folks, that's that's how it should look right there. That's, a, that's, yeah, that's it right great. there. It's just a quick and easy deal. And it makes for a fun side dish. And by the way, the way to do this is you is... <laughs> Depending on how you want to serve it, the toppings can be outstanding. You can do a sour cream and maybe some chopped green onions on top. 
Um, you can even go to the sweet side instead of the savory side, and you could uh, put uh, in uh, on top of it some uh, maple syrup. I've done that before. Oh, that'd be and good. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, anything's good, obviously. You know, my mom used to make banana fritters. Oh, did she? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah so, and we put we yeah. put sugar and butter on them. Butter yeah. And sugar. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I'm wanting. I'm just really looking for. Right here is about um, um, 340, 350 degrees. This is not the best way to do this, but um, it gives you somewhat of an idea. And uh, well, are they they have special. Uh, they have, but not for this thin. I mean, this is mm -hmm. just really on the bottom, and I'm just oh, frying see. these in here. Yeah. But I'm trying to see if it gets close, and I it. I love this unit, um, Sue, because it, yeah, it is I nice. set I can set both either the temperature, yeah, uh, or I can set like a heating element. And for this kind of thing, I set the temperature, and I'm at 340, and it just takes it right up. That induction plate, take, wow, I love that's this, great. Thing. I really do. So, in fact, I think I'll do the hamburgers on this tonight once I'm done with this. And by the way, I've got a little rack here on a sheet pan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these up and as I pull them out of here I'm going to uh, put them on here and then my oven's on at 200 and I can put them in there and they'll they'll be fine for about 30 40 minutes 45 minutes before you eat and uh, you, you, you won't have any problems whatsoever and, um, and see, I can already feel that coming up pretty good. And uh, honestly, I can put a little dab in there and I can see if it's gonna fry right. And really, you're gonna do this for about two or three minutes on either side. And what I do is I do about, uh, let me actually, before I do that, let me just try a little bit. Try first. a little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, not quite ready yet. Not quite no, ready. No, didn't mm -mm. sizzle. I yeah. didn't hear you it. Want it. No, you want it to sizzle. So yeah. we'll give it a second here and come back at me here in just a few seconds. I, All right. Okay. I keep zooming in and out on you. Oh, why? Well, because Did I, I have like a nose hair or <laughs> <No>. something. <laughs> right. I'm playing with this new oh, tripod. Okay. Gotcha. But I keep thinking you're going to use the pan. So then I go down and zoom oh, in. Oh, I And see. I think you're going to. Well, you're yeah. learning. You're learning. Yes. We're it's always a learning curve with yes, me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So come back to me when I get this up to heat, okay? Okay. All right. So it came up to heat, and I put uh, three of them in. I put about two of these tablespoons in there, and all I do is I sort of flatten them down to make sure that they're spread out a little bit. You get a little closer. Mm -hmm. a little and then make sure they're round, too. And by the way, you sort of, I got that a little close there. I want to keep them a little separate from each other. And they'll cook a little bit better that way. In about two to three minutes per side. So we're gonna see how things work here. They're really good though. I really love these things. And um, like I said, they're a very good side dish and sort of fun. And they're not hard to do. They're really not hard to make at all. And particularly if you've got the corn laying around, you wonder what to do with it. The other thing that I really like is that um, you can put, like I said, different toppings on it. And, and you can sort of make these whatever you want them to be, and, and they're fun. I've heard of people even having these uh, for um, uh, uh, breakfast in the morning with their sausage and eggs or whatever. The other thing I was gonna mention as well is that be careful when you turn them over that you don't splash yourself with the oil. You wanna just really sort of be oh, gentle yeah. with it, and so make sure you're not getting a little rough. Uh, people get burned that way, and you don't want that. Alrighty, so we're getting some success here, and um, great. turn them over, yeah. If you're impatient like I am sometimes, take your spoon and grab some of that oil and hot oil and put it up on top there a little bit. Keep cooking them nicely. How long are they going to take? Oh, uh, like I said, about two or three minutes on each side. Yeah, we're going to eat them tonight with our We're going to eat them, yeah, yeah. What are you going to put on yours? Uh, oh gosh, sour I don't cream. know. I'm going to try it without anything. Sour cream sounds good. Mm -hmm. Or cottage cheese. Oh, cottage cheese would I might be do good. That. Yeah, a little applesauce would be good. Yeah. You could do a lot of oh, things on this. Would yeah, be really good. Jalapenos, like I mentioned, I'm going to put in a little in a few moments. Uh, you could do um, uh, uh, chives, mm -hmm. which I do have actually. I'm going to do on with sour cream just to show you and plate it up. Starting to mm, yeah. get dark on the yeah, other that's side. That's all right. They're going to be fine. Yeah, looking good. 
I'm going to put this one on this side just for another second, like that. And again, I've got them a little thicker than I wanted them, but they're not bad. Well, they'd be hard to keep thin, right? Well, yeah, you got to sort of push thin down, that. press down when you put it in. I'll Whoa, show you. Yeah, we're going to make popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And there we go for another one. Making ourselves a little bit of popcorn here if we're not careful. Goodness. Yeah, that's what that was. Yeah, that was sure funny. was. That is a, a hoot, eh? All right. Now watch what I do when I put it in. Just take your spoon and push it down. Press it down, like, and press it out so that it's rounded out. And these last two, I'm gonna put in a little jalapeno. Oh, I like there the you sound go. Just for you. Yeah. Those are pickled, huh? Yeah, they're pickled jalapeno, but whatever it works, you know. So here's uh, my corn fritters. I got my hamburgers ready. We're going to put those together. A uh, nice little hamburger dinner. And look at those corn fritters. Don't those look great? I put a little dollop of sour cream on, some green onions, some chives. Oh, can't wait to dig into that. I should have, I may save the bottom one though, and for dessert, Sue, we'll dessert? split it in half no. and put maple syrup on it or and something. Put maple syrup. Yes, it'll oh, be so be good. Great. You could do powdered sugar, whatever, but it, yes. maple syrup would be good. Yes. So, hey, try this. Super easy, super fun, super quick. Your kids will love it, and you'll love it. That's what's the, and now stay tuned for part two. Hey, hi everyone. It's the Papa from the Papa's Kitchen. I'm getting all ready here to do a second part of this bonus video for you on this Saturday. And um, it's sort of combining one thing that I enjoy and I like, uh, but um, I've never done this particular recipe and I've never actually worked with these things. Uh, it's going to be a fried green tomato is basically I've got some green tomatoes It's getting near the end of the season, but I picked a couple of these up But I saw I think it was Bobby Flay or somebody do this and they made a slider out of these things And that's what I'm going to try to do Although my folks are coming over tonight and I'm going to actually even I can just serve the fried green tomato with this relish and this mayo that I'm going to make uh, on a side for them with the steak that I'm going to cook for them but um, I'm anxious to see how my mother does with the fried green tomato. Uh, my dad has eaten them, but I don't think my mother ever has. I like them. This slider uses a relish, and it uses something I've never worked with. These are tamotillos. These are really, and they come wrapped in their own little leaf kind of thing. And you'll find them at most grocery stores. It's really what it is. It's a... Uh, Best way to say it, I think it's a Mexican green tomato, but I'm going to chop these up very fine. I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of um, a really finely sliced chopped uh, red onion. Got that right here. And then I'm going to put in some cilantro, and I've got that right over here. And then I'm going to um, and chop that up. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in. I'm going to put the juice of one lime in there. And I'm going to make this uh, this all up. And by the way, just before I serve it, I'm going to have some crisp bacon that I've cooked. And I'm going to um, chop that in, and, and put that in that relish too. And that goes sort of like on the slider along with this little mayo. And the mayo is, I'm going to use Duke's. And then I picked up uh, some uh, goat cheese. And we're going to mix the goat cheese and the uh, mayo together. So I wanted to let you know what I'm going to be doing here and you're going to just sort of watch me and Belle's going to make it go a little fast because I'm trying to save a little time. But I'm going to chop these down pretty fine, the tam tamotillos, and then um, you'll see me start to combine and Belle, you can do this then it's a very quick B-roll, however you want to do it. Good? They taste very much like unripened tomatoes. tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> They're very popular in the um, Spanish culture. Okay, I've got my damofillos all chopped up. And by the way, for my Hispanic friends that watch this dog channel, if I'm saying that wrong, 
feel free to correct me. It won't help though, because it doesn't won't help. Say I'm terrible. Right no, I know it, I guess. <laughs> but anyhow, maybe you can phonetically give me a, a, a heads yeah, up. That might help. But and I did my. Um, that's a little bit more than a quarter cup, but I like onions. Um, uh, red onion. And now what I want to do is I want to squeeze in the juice of one lime here. So let's cut this sucker in half right like that. We've got my little juicer here. We're gonna put that down right like that. You know the limes in uh, oh, I love that. In Mexico are not green. They They're look not. more like lemons. Mm. Oh yeah, they are, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I need still about two tablespoons of this cilantro. So let me uh, just cut that off like that and we're going to just chop this real fine all in there and uh, oh this is really good too and I'm not the biggest cilantro fan my wife loves Susan you love it don't you I do I love talking cilantro. about my wife like you're not here but you're right here <laughs> sorry about that and uh I'm behind the scenes yeah no but you need to be out in front of the camera no sometimes. no 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 that's People my choice asking. That's a little bit more than two tablespoons too, but hey, it's all good. Put that in there like that. I'm gonna put in here about two tablespoons of, uh, I'm using vegetable oil. I've sort of sworn off a of canola oil. It called for canola oil, but this will just be fine. We're gonna put that in there like that. And then we'll add the bacon just before we're ready to serve. But that's really basically it. I might add a little bit of pepper in there and all uh, but that's your little relish no vinegar right no no vinegar no mm -mm. just what we got here and you got the lemon you know the the lime excuse me the lime juice and so it probably tastes better when you let it set too it's going to that's why i did it ahead of mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. exactly right let me actually taste a little you bit don't put this. the mayonnaise in yet oh, oh that, that is really good mm. I think you're gonna like this. Let me give you a spoonful. See if you like this. I, I actually am pleasantly surprised by that. Well, I won't like all the onions. No, you'll be fine. It's uh, sour. It's got a sour taste to it, but I like that. But when does the mayonnaise go in? Oh, the mayonnaise goes on your bun, like slider, but in this case... Oh, I thought mayonnaise went in there. No, mm, -mm. Yep. So look, at here is my... Oh, yeah, where does the goat cheese go? Goes right in with the mayonnaise. We're going to mix it all up in there. Mm. So watch. We're gonna, let me just and cut this down. And that's a spread, then. And it's a spread, yeah. Mm. Now you're getting it. Can't you read my mind? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know if that would be good or bad. I don't know if I want to read your you mind. Really <laughs> Trust me. Trust me on this. And all we're going to do is we're going to do a half a cup of mayonnaise with this and then some black pepper. And this is what makes the, our spread. That, that's great. So we're going to put that in there. Bell's going to yell because I'm making a lot of noise. You got to start using those other stirs. What are their stirs? They're little uh, spatulas. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they don't push this down like that. I need a fork, actually. And then let's add some black pepper. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Sorry, Belle. <laughs> Poor thing. She deals with me all the time. Yes. I know what she's now. There's one whose mind you want to read. No, Ms. you Bells. don't want to read her mind when, either. When she's editing this, she's going, oh, no. Papa. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Actually, what she tells me, she says everything you cook, I'm ready to eat. She says it's terrible. Oh man, does that ever look good? It's you know, so I don't know if it's true or not, but I saw that movie with Julia Child. Yeah. And the film crew, because they were in an actual studio. The film crew would just look at that stuff that she was making. Yeah, with these and just drooling drool. eyes, you know. And then she would serve them. And then them. she would serve them, and yeah. they just loved working on her set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm oh, sure this is gonna be good. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be good. Alrighty. So we're gonna come back. I'm gonna get the green tomatoes cut up, and we're gonna dredge those. I'll show you all that. We're gonna fry them. And then this is how we're gonna set it up and serve. So see you in a little bit. Hey, hi, now we're back. My relish is done with the 
tomatillos and the onion and the cilantro. My mayo is done. Now I've got my green tomatoes. I'm cutting them about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick. You don't want to be too light on that, so I'm just doing two. There's only four of us going to be eating this tonight. But my recipe, when I put it up, I think I'll call for four of them, four of these green tomatoes and corresponding amount of flour, cornmeal, and egg. So all I do, honestly, is, um, don't need that, is I'm going to do the typical, like we did with the corn fritters earlier, I'm going to um, get these just dusted in the flour. Do flour first and then? Flour first mm -hmm. and then sort of shake it off and then in the egg, get that dipped in the egg. Do you fry red tomatoes? Uh, I've never done it. No, so it's probably fried green tomatoes. Yeah, because they're a lot firmer. There's Not no green fried yeah, tomatoes. No. And then all right into your um <laughs> You're He's not uh, listening to me again. I'm not. I've got my mind on this. Don't play with me now, Susan. <laughs> All we're going to do is we're going to um, stick these in. We're going to do about two minutes per side. We want them to be uh, golden brown uh, in that oil. I've got about a little, about half an inch of oil uh, on the uh, bottom of the uh, skillet here. And you don't want them up against each other. You want them to sort of be separate cook a little bit better so you just do four right now and then we're gonna let that go for a couple minutes and uh, and then we'll turn them and uh, then we'll put them back on the rack let them drip and then we're gonna have a nice little eat my mother and dad are here she's never had my father he reminded me um his his grandma my great grandma made fried green tomatoes all the time for not all the time but she made them my mother's side never had them. My grandmother, my mother's mother didn't make them, nothing like that. And even though my mother's mother came from northern Florida, they just didn't do it. So who knows what? I don't no, know. No, but where's your dad's family? But my dad's family, they came from the Alabama, Tennessee, oh, all that area. Yep. Yeah. And so that's where that... North Carolina, yeah, all that, so that's, that's where they came from. I'd swing over there, but he said, I don't want to be on camera. No, he doesn't. So now, I'm not I will, showing when I When we <laughs> test this out and taste it in a little bit, I will uh, have my mother's face on camera because I told her, she didn't want to do it either, but I told her people are wondering and asking how she's doing, how she's feeling, and um, so she's going to, you can see and judge for yourself how that. So here we go. So that's coming. They're, they're golden on one side. I just turned them over. This is the first batch. And I'm going to get my sandwich spread or my sandwich uh, slider ready. With that cream with cheese that cream and mayonnaise? Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Do they have to drain first? I'm going to put them on the drain. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They'll do a lot better that way. Let me see. Ah, give it a few more. I get so impatient. I want to try this. And tell you what, nothing like it. And I did corn fritters the other day. Mm -hmm. you, have you ever yeah, just the same way? Have you ever? I, I might have one or two left over no, here. Oh, I've eaten them. Oh, eaten did them. you? They're gone. Oh my uh, lord! Well, you're between both. Oh of them. my goodness! I mean, if it's in the fridge, oh, I figure it's Oh my goodness! Fair I was game. saving it for my mother. Oh, right. What are you thinking of, woman? <laughs> They were good. Yeah, they were good. Now, what I've got, I've had these graining a little bit, and we're going to put these. I, I had some whole wheat buns, homemade whole wheat buns, so I cut them in half and got them a little warm. I put the mayo on, the goat cheese mayo, and then I'm going to put on each one, I'm going to put um, a fried green tomato, and then I'm going to put a little bit of the relish on. I don't want the juice. I don't want it that messy. And you put the relish on top like this. Oh my goodness, with that red onion and the cilantro. Do you like cilantro? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Some people don't like it. All right. So, this is your salmon. Let me cut it. Now, before I give it to your mother, you better try it. You can take a bite. Oh, my goodness. That's good. 
So that is good. It's not too hot, nothing mm -hmm. like that. So there you go. Try that. Mother, sit down there. Tell everybody how you're feeling. Everybody's been asking. Here, and let me go around this mm -hmm. Did you tell them I fell? I told them you fell. I told them you almost, we almost lost you. Oh. <laughs> well, it means doctors don't know everything. No. Mm -hmm. Here, you want to turn that light around a little bit? Well, so how are you feeling? She's in the I'm dark. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I I don't have my strength back like I'd like to have it back, mm -hmm. well, but hopefully I'll get that's it. Because you and I both are very impatient with those kinds of things. Oh, yeah. but um, I haven't had the pain that I thought I would have. Okay, try. Is this your first fried green tomato you've ever? Yeah, had? it's the first no, fried no. green tomato I've ever. Try and see what you so think. You want to eat that? Mm hmm. You no, know he does. Mm. That's, that's good. good. Isn't that good? You yeah. like it? That's good. Oh my goodness. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. That You know what that mayonnaise is? What? It's mayonnaise with goat cheese mixed in it. Mm -hmm. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he made it fancy. Mm -hmm. there is, whoever told you that is good stuff. That you're supposed to make a sandwich out of fried green tomatoes. I never well, heard of that. It's a, what they call a slider. You know how you can get Society. hamburger sliders yep. and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff? This is really what but that these is. buns are special because he made this mm -hmm. his buns. homemade bread. Mm -hmm. He made buns out of it. That's good. Thank and you. so who's your favorite son? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. A lot of these people, when we talked about it, uh, you, they all said we're praying for them. Yeah. Well, they so they you had a lot of much. people praying. Yeah, and I think that's what helped and kept the pain yes. down and yep. did a whole lot of things. And yes, Absolutely. and a quick recovery because uh, yeah, it, it happens um, July, 4th. July 4th and already she's up and drunk down the end of August, and, and basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Good. Now, the All doctors righty. predicted much worse. So. Yes. Anyhow, enjoy. Make yourself some fried green tomatoes. Yes. And enjoy. They're really good. Very easy to do. Okay. See ya.